What's the matter here? This bitch here tried to kill me. Have her clapped in the stocks where she belongs. That's not true, Master Bailiff, sir. He got drunk, like he always does, and ate who knows what kind of slop somewhere. You know very well what it was what poisoned me. You're trying to get rid of me and don't think I don't know it. Enough. One at a time. Quiet. Good wife, tell me your side of the story. Sir, that beast is good for nothing but drinking away my dowry with his cronies. If he puts his hand to a flail at all, it's only to beat me with it. We were thrown out of the farm near Ledechko that I got as a dowry because this fool let it go to ruin and got us into debt, too. They threw us out because you wouldn't back me up to the bailiff. Because I couldn't hold my head up if I lied to cover your useless ass. That's got nothing to do with you poisoning me. He boozes from morning till night and beats me. Says I don't take good enough care of him. And all he does is sit on his ass expecting me to run around cooking and cleaning for him. And now he wants to drive me out of the village, saying I tried to kill him. What would I do then? Tell me what happened. What makes you think she tried to poison you? She hates me. She wants to put me in the ground and then take the farm. I can see it in her eyes. She's just wishing for the day I'm dead. But she'll never see it, because I'll throw her out on her ear. Throw me out? From my own home? You useless, ale-swilling pig. Have you forgotten who got you a roof over your head? Just look at her, sir. You can see for yourself what a harpy she is. I came home after one or two ales at the tavern, ate my supper, what was left on the table for me, and went to bed. And in the morning, I woke up with my guts in agony. My head was on fire. I thought my last hour had come. If it wasn't for the old herb woman, she'd already have me in the ground. Have you forgotten the part about battering me and throwing up in the doorway? Shut your mouth, you whore! Now, I've heard enough. You, farmer, won't touch another drop of booze, or I'll leave you in the stocks to dry out. And if you raise your hand to your wife again, I'll take a bludgeon to you. But a drink or two? No buts. There'll be no half measures with you. Thank you, Master Bailiff. Thank you a thousandfold. You're a wise and just man. Off scot free. Pay up. So be it. <clears throat> you stop right where you are. Surrender. Stop. No one gets away with beating people up around here, not on my watch. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. What's that? Just my luck. Look, I can't tell you anymore. The fate of the whole empire hangs in the balance between King Wenceslas and King Sigismund. High politics, you know? Not a peep to anyone. Well, I thought, that is, I had no idea. That's how it is. Of course you may go. <laughs>